before you uh could get to tank it looks like got uh like Lomachenko's gonna it's it's rumored to be next you got bob talking about it lrb talking about it tank talking about it how, how do you see that fight going if that's next tank and lomachenko uh i got tank man i definitely got tank i definitely got tank i feel like you know sure i just feel like lomachenko is smaller he's fragile um he's older and he's just really just older man he's just on his way out he got all the skill and ability to to beat a tank maybe three years ago but um you know three years is a lot of years in, in boxing years so i don't think you know he will be able to beat Tank, but it will be a hell of a fight, for sure. It will be a hell of a fight, but I, I see Tank, you know, most likely probably stopping him. Right, right. And, and and two, you know, I got to ask about um the Shakur fight. They, they're they right now, I think by a lot of people, number one and two in the division. And how, how do you see Shakur? I, I imagine you favor your man Shakur. And, and what's that dynamic getting like now that – you know, you guys are these great friends, but you got your eyes set on the same opponents in the division. And yeah, how do you see that fight going? And how do you deal with that dynamic now as you guys are hunting the same prey? Oh, well, if you put things, I like putting things in perspective, so I won't sound like I'm just saying bullshit. So putting things in perspective of Tank versus Frank Martin, both of them being southpaws mm -hmm. and Tank just losing those first five to six rounds against, you know, a lesser southpaw. I just feel like when you're going into a fight with Shakur Stevenson, you cannot do that. You you just you can't, and you're just not gonna walk him down and knock him out. Again, putting things in perspective, Tank did say they asked him, "Well, do you think this fight helped you get ready for the Lomachenko's or Shakur?" He said, "Well, no, because everybody fights differently." Okay, that make a lot of sense. So that tells me, okay, you probably just fought Frank Martin that certain way. Understand what I'm saying? Which makes a lot of sense. So um, I feel like if Tank decides to come out and start slow against Shakur, then it's going to be a fairly easy night for Shakur. But I feel like if Tank come out and step on the gas and just fights him, then it's going to be a, a harder fight for the both of them. You know what I mean? So, um, of course, I'm going with Shakur. I think Shakur going to win either way, How whether he come out strong or come out, you know, lesser. But I just feel like if he come out like how he did with Frank, or with I a lot know, of trying opponents. to cut the distance right away, right? You feel me? Or just taking hits, or just letting him, or just starting off slow. I just feel like you you can't really can't do that with Shakur. It's just not gonna work. Some some shit just not gonna work. And lastly, Keyshawn, um, we started talking about you looking bigger up top with the strength and conditioning. Now, now you know I'm I'm not trying to be a a, a hole. I I you know I smoke weed. You know full disclosure, but <laughs> last time we talked, you said you know you had a good talk with God. Decided to put that alone during your career as a fighter. Have you noticed any difference with that already, man? How's how's that been going? Oh yeah, man. Shit, happy, like happy, um, motivated, and focused, man. Um, really just seeing things for what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, um, trying not to um. Hmm. Just, just, just trying to really be me with, with as I progress within this sport for real. Like, just I really want the people to, I want the people to know, like everything that come from me, just like be real shit. That's why I told y'all, like the smoking things and what I've been through, because I'm a regular Nick, I'm a regular dude, and I, I, and I don't really try to hide from nothing. I don't really stray away from nothing. You know what I mean? So, I just want the, I just want the boxing world to know, like, yeah, I'm calling out Tank because I really want to fight him. Yeah, I'm calling out Bar Barranche because I really want to fight. I'm calling out Tio because I really want to fight. Ain't nothing really like fake with this with with when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I really want the people to know about me. Appreciate your honesty and, and being authentic with us, Keyshawn. And uh, when when the fighting days are over, 15 years from now, whatever, holla at your boy. You know, <laughs> he was you know, but yeah. <laughs> no. So uh, I got you. All right. <laughs> But thank you, Keyshawn. If there's any, uh, anything else you want to get, get off your chest to the boxing world, please let it be known. Otherwise, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, uh, shouts out uh, my brother, man. He fighting with me July 6th. Kelvin Davis, he fighting uh, Kevin Johnson. You know what I'm saying? And shit, Kelvin. Understorm. Right. I yeah. think Kelvin is going to um, show the boxing world something with this fight. Actually, I know he's going to show the boxing world something. So anybody up here listening, man, Kelvin Davis versus Kevin Johnson, July 6th. Just watch what I tell you, Kelvin had to go crazy on him.
that's a good opponent in front of him. Kevin, Kevin went mano a mano with Richardson Hitchens. That was a very close fight. He sparred all the best in Vegas, so that's a good test for Calvin, man. Look forward to yeah. seeing it. Right, right, and it's funny because uh, I also got a chance to spar in front of Floyd that time. I think he was there too. So, uh, yeah, so we 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 gonna be more than ready. <laughs> you, you got some good <laughs> scouting for your bro. So, thank you, you. You, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you, Keith. Hey, man, boxing world, man. I'll be back July 6th, man. Um, I want y'all to start looking at me like like one of them guys, though, man. For real, because I am one of those guys. And y'all see the last fight, y'all gonna see it again this fight, man. And um, this is not this is not me being cocky. This is telling y'all like, rock with me. This this is getting, it's getting serious, and I'm trying to make these big fights happen. So y'all, the fans, y'all gotta help me make these big fights happen. And shit, that's all that matters. It's big fights, you know what I'm saying? So thanks, Keith. We'll be tuned yes, in. Thank you, Keith.